Let us now take a problem and prepare all these accounts. Bimal and Kamal enter into a joint venture to do the office interiors of a company. The company agrees to pay rupees 5 lakh. Bimal and Kamal contribute 50,000 and 75,000 respectively. And these are paid into a joint bank account. So the first entry would be the capital contribution by Bimal and Kamal. Right? To the joint bank account. Payments made out of the joint bank are Purchase of equipment, there is 55,000. Wages are paid to like 25,000. Materials are 50,000. Office expenses are 50,000. Totally, the money spent seems to be 2 lakh 50, 25 plus 50, sorry, 55,000 plus 2 lakh 25,000 plus 50,000 plus 50,000, giving us 3 lakh 80,000. So these are expenses paid out of the joint bank account. The fact that there is equipment purchase, there is no separate differentiation. Wages is an expense in the normal way. For materials, we would have called it purchase in normal accounting. But here we do not differentiate. There is no separate head of expense. Everything is debited to joint venture account. Bimal paid 20,000 to a designer. This is the money which is being paid personally by Bimal. On completion, the company was not happy and they made a deduction of 10% on the contract price. So what was the contract price? The contract price was 5 lakh, agreed to pay rupees 5 lakh. So now we would get 5 lakh less 10%, 50,000 less, we would get only 4 lakh 50,000. The equipments were taken over by Kamal at a valuation of 20,000. So this is 4 and this I am saying is 5. These are the five, uh, 5 entries maybe, 5 kinds of transactions which have taken place. Separate books, of, uh, books were maintained for the joint venture and profits were divided in the ratio of 2 is to past journal entries. Let us quickly pass the journal entries. What would be the entry? First, I have written the sequence, I have written the number here. So one, first is capital contribution. Bimal and Kamal contribute 50,000 and 75,000 respectively. Therefore, joint bank account debit Bimal is 50,000 and to Kamal is 75,000. 1,25,000 is in the back. This is your first entry. Next, this is 2. Purchase, 3,80,000 is being spent. Joint venture account debit. Joint venture account debit to joint bank. Three lakh eighty thousand. Of course, the money, the check issued happens to be more than the capital contribution. But since there are no dates, maybe money was received from the company earlier, maybe in installments, or maybe this account we know the bankers and they allow as an overdraft. We are not going into the de those details now. One, two, third one. Third one has happened. Bimal has paid 20,000 to a designer. So this is a personal expense of Bimal, but it is an expense, therefore, Expense account debit is joint venture account debit to 
this will go to Bimal's account. To Bimal's account, the amount is 20,000. Three is over. Next four, what we have marked here is that the equipments are taken over by Kamal at a valuation of 20,000. We did not perhaps discuss this entry before. If a co-venturer takes over the equipment, what would be the entry? Entry would be co-venture account debit since the co-venture is receiving something and what is credited? Joint venture account is credited since when equipments were purchased, joint venture account was debited. So here in this case, the entry becomes Kamal is taking it over. Therefore, Kamal's account debit to joint venture. And finally, the last entry not the last entry, but last from the transaction on receipt, on completion. The company was not happy, made a deduction of 10% and paid 5 lakh less 10%, 5 lakh less 50,000, 4 lakh 50,000. Assuming it's been deposited into the bank, joint bank account debit to joint venture. Amount of four lakh fifty thousand. Now we go about closing the accounts. We need to see what is the profit on joint venture. How do we do that? Joint venture has been debited with three lakh eighty plus twenty, that is four lakh. It has then been credited with four lakh fifty thousand. Therefore, joint venture profit appears to be 50,000. If you notice, this is joint venture. This is joint venture. No, there is a one more account, the fourth account, Kamal's account to joint venture was taken over for 20,000. This was not complete. So, joint venture has been credited with another 20,000. So, if we take joint venture account has actually been debited with 4 lakh and it has been credited with 20,000 plus 4 lakh 50 or 4 lakh 70,000. Therefore, there is a profit of 70,000. Assuming 70,000 is the profit which is shared among Bimal and Kamal in the ratio 2 is to 3. So, what is your entry? Joint venture account debit. To Kamal, to them. Yeah. So joint venture seventy thousand share of profit being two fifth of seventy thousand and three fifth of seventy thousand. That would give us twenty eight thousand and forty two thousand. And then finally, we would have to see the joint bank account, see the balance in the joint bank, see the balances in Bimal and Kamal's account and transfer the balance funds to their account. Do one thing, I'll show you the accounts which have already been prepared. But I hope these accounting entries are totally clear. We quickly go through once more. Bimal and Kamal contribute 50,000 and 75,000 and deposit this money into the joint bank account. Therefore, joint bank account debit to Bimal to Kamal 50,000 and 75,000. Next, there are expenses incurred, equipment, wages, material, office expenses, totaled everything together 380,000. Joint venture account debit to joint bank 380,000. Third, we had 20,000 being paid to a designer, but it was paid by Bimal personally. Therefore, again, it's an expense. Therefore, joint venture account debit to Bimal's account, 20,000. Next, finally, the, the uh, venture is over. They receive only 450,000 and Kamal takes over the equipments for 20,000. Kamal taking over the equipment for 20,000. Kamal's account debit to joint venture account, 20,000. 
mind you when the equipments were purchased joint venture account was debited now when they are being taken over by kamal kamal's account is debited and joint venture account credited next for receipt of money from the company joint bank account debit to joint venture only 450000 the balancing figure in the joint venture would be 70000 we close that so joint venture account debit 70000 to kamal 28000 to bimal 42000 indicating the profit on joint venture indicating the profit on joint venture shared in the ratio 2 is to 5 There is a final entry which is Bimal's account debit, Kamal's account debit to joint bank, so that the balance in the joint bank can be distributed to Bimal and Kamal. That we shall see in this presentation. So, joint bank account from all that we had discussed, joint bank first. This was the capital contribution, right? Joint bank account debit to Bimal and to Kamal. Next, we received four lakh fifty thousand from company receipt of income receipt from company. These were the expenses which were paid. The balancing figure. This has been paid as ninety seven thousand to Bimal and ninety eight thousand to Kamal. How do we get this? This balance we ascertain from the co-venturer's account from bimal's account and from kamal's account the joint venture account in the meantime quickly joint venture account 380000 was spent as expenses 20000 was paid for the designer 450000 is for income kamal took over 20000 ultimately we get a profit of 70000 profit since income is more than the expense this was split in the ratio 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 now come to the co-venturer's account co-venturer's account was first credited for the capital contribution this is this is the posting of this right then by joint venture 20 only bimal what is this this 20 is the expense paid designer fees paid by bimal again this is the post joint venture debit to bimal's account share of profit is a share of profit for both again coming from the joint venture account next kamal took over 20000 this posting is here this is the post and therefore balance in bimal's account was 98000 the balance in kamal's account is 97000 add both together and the joint bank account is closed so this is how the accounting entries are passed when a separate set of books is kept for joint venture 